what you see now is the view on the city of Jerusalem. This is where it all began. This ancient city was always accompanied by spectacular valleys that surrounded the Moria mountain for centuries. The main three valleys in Jerusalem are the Kidron Valley, the Tiropeon Valley and the Hinnon Valley. These three valleys were the natural defenses of Jerusalem and form a shape of the Hebrew letter Shin. The Kidron Valley is on the eastern side of Jerusalem's old city, separating the Temple Mount from the Mount of Olives. It stretches 32 kilometers east through the Judean desert in Biblical Samaria towards the Dead Sea. In its lowest part, you can find an ancient monastery of Mars Saba. The Tanakh calls the upper valley Emek Yehoshaphat, the Valley of Yehoshaphat. This name appears in biblical eschatological prophecies that foretell the war of Gog and Magog, the arrival of the Messiah, and the Day of Judgment. At the top of the Kidron Valley, there is an important first temple period cemetery, the Sylvan Necropolis. The tombs carved in the rock from the 9th and 7th centuries BC were used by the highest ranking officials living in the city. North of the old city, in the Kidron Valley, was one of the main burial places for the inhabitants of Jerusalem during the Second Temple period. Hundreds of tombs have been preserved in this part to this day. Also, the stretch to the east and opposite to the Temple Mount boasts several well-preserved tombs from the Second Temple period. Several of them were later used as burial places or shelters for hermits and monks from large monastic communities. They inhabited the Kidron Valley during the Byzantine Empire. The modern name of the Kidron Valley from Hebrew Nahal Kidron refers to the entire length of the vast vadi or valley that begins north of Jerusalem's old city and ends at the Dead Sea. The biblical names Nahal Kidron, Emek Yehoshaphat or the Valley of the Kings refer to the same valley but different parts. Likewise, in Arabic, each more significant wadi has many names, the next of which is associated with a specific section of its course. The name Kidron Valley. The Hebrew name Kidron comes from the root Kadar, which means to be dark. So in this context, it can be understood as the Valley of the Dark. In the Christian tradition, the similarity between the Greek word Kedros and the Greek name Kedron used in the Septuagint has led the Kidron Valley being incorrectly called Cider Valley. The name Yehoshaphat Valley. In Tanakh, Emek Yehoshaphat means the valley where God will judge the name Valley of the King. In the days of the Old Testament kings, the Kidron Valley was identified as least in part with the King's Garden because the rulers owned land in the area. Therefore, it was also known as the Valley of the King, where Absalom erected his monument or pillar Remember, this pillar has no connection to the much later Absalom pillar, which you can see today in Jerusalem. The king's garden was probably irrigated by water channeled from the Gihon Spring or the Pool of Siloam. The three monumental tombs that you can see today in Jerusalem 
on the eastern side of the Kidron Valley are among the most famous monuments of ancient Jerusalem. Those tombs are, looking from north to south, the tomb of Absalom, Yad Afshalom, which rises in front of the grotto or the tomb of Yehoshaphat, properly called the tomb of Bnei Hazir. Bnei Hazir means in Hebrew sons of Hazir, which refers to the priestly family of Hazir. And lastly, the tomb of Zahariah, which was most likely a nephesh of the tomb of Bnei Hazir. As to the things that happened in the Kidron Valley, it was in this valley that King Yehoshaphat defeated Israel's enemies. Chapters 29, 30 and 31 of the second book of Chronicles deal with King Hezekiah called to sanctify the Lord's ministers, remove unclean things, invite all Israel and Judah to celebrate Passover in Jerusalem and liturgical reforms. In biblical times, this valley was also used as a garbage dump. During the reforms of King Hezekiah around 700 BC, as part of the ritual cleansing of the temple, the priests removed unclean objects from the tabernacle and the Levites dumped them to the Kidron Valley. Both David and Jesus are specifically said to have crossed the Kidron Valley. Jesus traveled through the Kidron Valley many times, traveling between Jerusalem and Bethany. The Kidron Valley also houses the Garden of Gethsemane, where he prayed the last night before his execution, therefore being the darkest moment in his life. Also, King David experienced difficult times when he fled through the Kidron Valley during the rebellion of his son Absalom. In ancient times, the Kidron Valley was always the eastern border of Jerusalem. The city never expanded through the Kidron Valley to the Mount of Olives. Instead, there were cemeteries on the Mount of Olives. The Kidron Valley is dry all year around, except during and shortly after heavy rainfall. Today, the Kidron Valley is higher than it was in antiquity due to the build-up of filling after erosion and destruction. The book of Joel mentions that God will gather all nations in the valley of Jehovah for the final judgment. I will also gather all nations and I will bring them down into the valley of Jehovah and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. I hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, I encourage you to comment. You can also subscribe to this channel to stay informed about the next monthly episodes on Jerusalem's history. You can also support me by clicking on the join button on my channel main page. You will see a link in the description. This will certainly help me to improve. Have a great day and see you soon.